All right, I'm gonna to try to make this a quick PSA. So there is a misconception that Valentine's Day is a corporate holiday, you know, pushing candy, cards, flowers, etc. Now, I don't necessarily disagree with that statement. Valentine's Day, as it is said, is a corporate holiday because the true holiday is St. Valentine's Day. Now, a little background on St. Valentine's Day. Now, back in the third century, the Roman Empire, somewhere in the third century, uh, they were persecuting Christians, Catholics. They were killing them. They were feeding them to lions, all sorts of heinous things. So it was a real bad time to be a Christian, right? So they put out a decree, the Romans did, that said Catholics could not marry, thus stomping out all those pesky babies running around, right? You know, you got Catholic babies causing problems. They grew up to be pesky adult Catholics that marry and make more Catholic babies, you, you can see the problem, right? So they wanted to stomp this out. Now, at this time, the Catholic bishop, Valentine, was sneaking around their back because he said, that's, that's crazy, you know, we, you can't stop people from being married, right? So he was uh, doing the service of the marriage rite for uh, Catholics that wanted to be married. Now, one of these people that he ended up marrying was a Roman, I want to say centurion. He was in the Roman military, right? He ends up getting caught by the Romans and thrown into prison, you know, condemned to die, him and his wife. Now, uh, Bishop Valentine went and basically sacrificed himself, said, hey, take me. I'm the guy that's doing all this issue out here that you don't like. Let them go. So he swapped places with the centurion and his wife and was condemned to death. So he's sitting there in prison. Now here comes the good part, right? The jailer at this time was, uh, obviously he was a Roman, he was a pagan, and his daughter was blind, right? And through the intercession, which if you don't know what an intercession is, it's basically asking saints or other people to pray on your behalf. It's not praying to a saint or praying to somebody, you know, it's, it's basically praying on somebody else's behalf. Now, through the intercession of Bishop uh, Valentine praying to Jesus for a miracle, uh, praying for the health of this, this child, uh, the child was cured of blindness, which is kind of close to my heart, right? I'm a blind guy. So as part of this, you know, obviously the fam family, the jailer and his family were elated and they ended up converting to being Catholics. But as a token, the bishop, he wrote a note that said from Valentine, you know, your Valentine. Thus, maybe starting the card thing, you know, hey, I don't know. You, you decide about that. But the, the whole idea is that, you know, he sacrificed himself for the right of marriage, the right of self-sacrifice, for others, you know, that, that is true love. And that's what this day is supposed to be about. You know, you can get cards, whatever. Hey, that's cool. You know, pass out those little candies with words on them. You know, they taste like chalk, but hey, you know, enjoy the day, spend it with somebody that you love, or if you don't love somebody, you know, hey, spend it helping somebody, you know? You see somebody that, that cares about somebody else and they're doing good and they need a hand, give them a hand. So that's all I got. I hope you have a glorious St. Valentine's Day. And just think, next month we have St. Patrick's Day. So have a great day. Thanks for watching and never fear the dark.